I'm wrong for grabbing one of these. We're about to go home, cook chuletas, corn rice, corn beans, el beanes. My Spanish is like that. Mama el bicho calor. Mama huevo. Say hi. Hi. What we're gonna make is arroz. Say arroz. Chalu el chuleta. Huh? Eat chuletas. I want to eat chuletas. Chuletas fritas. That's a tip. No. Show me. I got a bad little bitch, okay. We be in the club like now she throwing ass and shit. Yes, and I be driving for what you know the fast or shit. And I be smoking hella tree just to relax and shit. What is good with y'all dickheads? I'm back with another banger. You already know what the fuck's going on. Today's my last day. Stacy's gonna be teaching me how to cook to lettuce, rice, and beans. So I'm at Kroger right now. I gotta pick up these two lettuce. Hold on, why am I lighting like that? My lips are dry, oh, bitch, I need a drink. Hold on, before we get into this, I need to grab a drink. I'm wrong for grabbing one of these. I'll pay for it. So we got the pork chop, you feel me? Chuleta, corn rice, whatever the... What this called? She want me to get a can opener like I'm in Walmart. I'm in Kroger, shorty. She wanted this, so I got the good one. You feel me? Now we're about to go home, cook chuletas, corn rice, corn beans, el beanes, el rice. Yo, que tu hace? Mama el bicho cabrón. Mama huevo. No, no tu quieres fumar. What's good, dickhead? <laughs> oh, this is so cute. They not for you. Who they for? My mother. I'm lying. Here you go. Thank you. I got this type Thank of. Thank you. I want some of this. No, you can eat McDonald's. No, I want. I want what? Say hi. Hi. If you wanted Chick Fil A, you should have got some Chick Fil A. You said you want a McDonald's. Wait, don't drag it. I'm not. All right, I'll put that right there. Um, I could have got this one mac and cheese, too. This shit cold. Give me a dime. I'm going to see y'all when I get to the crib. We back at the crib. The pork chops is all cleaned up. Stacy about to give me the little one-two rundown. Teach me how to season these, get these ready to cook. This popular meal called chuleta, con rice, con beans. However y'all say it. <laughs> However y'all say it, man, but we about to get into this. Okay, so we already, well, I washed the meat, and which one do you want to do? Because we're not going to cook all of them. That's I right. want those two. You want these two? What we're going to make is arroz, say arroz. Chalu el chuleta. Huh? Say chuleta. Chuleta. No, no, no. Arroz. Arroz. Con habichuela. What is habichuela? Beans. Con. Con. Habichuelas. Habichuelas. Y chuletas fritas. Y chuletas. I want to eat chuletas. Chuletas fritas. That's a tip. No. Chuleta frita. Chuleta frita. What is that? Fried pork. Okay. You only need three ingredients for chuletas, literally. You need adobo. Salt. That's, oh, I didn't mean to grab the salt. <laughs> Sazon. Sazon and pepper. A little bit of pepper. 
So we're gonna start with the uh, adobo. If you have a big pack of chuletas and you're not cooking them all, adobo las chuletas que no vas a usar. Season the ones that you're not gonna use. You're just gonna put adobo on the ones that you're not gonna fry up the first day because they'll stay fresh. When I got adobo. You do gotta cook them within like two or three days. The adobo. And after you put adobo on those three, just put them in the Ziploc bag. And save them for whenever you want to use them. Okay, next we're just going to sprinkle a little pepper on it. Just a little bit. You got your salon? You got to use your hands, like really get into it and get it into every part of it. You yes, ma'am. Like, on. On all of them? Yeah. Put a little bit of frosty. Not a lot, literally, just like a little bit. That's it. See, that's way too much. Never mind. Flip it around. You could put a little bit on there. It's just so it could really absorb into the meat. So it could really absorb. So I don't really will stain the heck out of you. My what? Stain your hands a lot. A lot. Boom! All season. Now we're gonna let it marinate for an hour or two. For like two, two and a half hours. For like two, two and a half hours. Usually we would have done this the night before and then let it marinate overnight. overnight but you feel me? We so just got the chuletas today. And I'll leave tomorrow. It's still gonna bust, but it's you better. know, the longer you marinate your food, the, the better it tastes because it got more time to soak into the meat. Mm -hmm. But it tastes nasty. Like if we would have just fried these right now. It would have been okay, I, but, but the flavoring yeah. wouldn't have been so mm. juicy. The chuletas have been sitting for like two hours. The rice is going to take about like 15 to 20 minutes, and the beans are quick. First, we're going to do the beans, even though they don't like beans. I don't know. I usually buy the Goya red beans, but they never have the big dark ones that look like cockroaches. <laughs> that shit is sickening. Look how thick they are. We filled up the beans with water and so they're all the way covered and we're gonna add some sofrito. Usually you can make your own sofrito so it can taste better but I buy this from the grocery store. Two spoons. Mm -hmm. After he threw in the sofrito, we're gonna put some small potatoes in there. You can do this if you want to, you don't have to but I like to put potatoes in it because I like potatoes. This is for her. Yeah. Do you eat baked beans? Yes. So oh, that's wow. beans. That's not fucking kidney beans. Kidney beans are so good. No. Why? Nasty. I only eat baked beans because they're sweet. I think if they wasn't sweet, I would eat them. Ew. Sweet beans disgust me. What the f- you're, Like, what are you even eating, bro? Beans. And what is a bean? It grows out the ground. It's a vegetable. Okay. So I want some non-flavored, no-salt added beans. They taste better no. than that, yeah. No. And we're going to keep this on low because we want the potatoes to cook first. After we add our potatoes... We're gonna put our ingredients. She's gonna do that, cause that's for her. I'm gonna do the rice. Okay, so we're gonna need one sazon sobre, just one. You don't even need a fork. Then okay, we're gonna put some cilantro leaves. You can use real ones, but I don't feel like cutting up cilantro right now. So we're just gonna use the leaves. And I'll be dragging it, not gonna lie. <laughs> I drag it. After the cilantro leaves, we're gonna go in with a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit. And I don't be measuring shit, I just eyeball it. Then we're gonna use some ground cumin. What? I don't think it's called that, but that's what I would have probably said too. It is ground cumin. 
Cumin? Yeah, it's called cumin. Right. What else? What do we call? I don't know. This is the same ingredient. Now we're going to put some oregano leaves in here. Then we're going to add a little bit of onion powder. Oh, shit. Every time I cook beans, I cook them different. Let me just go mix that up. Oh, of course. I can't forget a little bit of pepper. Can't forget the pepper. Can't forget the pepper. We're gonna let it cook on like two or four so the potatoes can cook and then we'll turn it up a little bit and we're gonna add tomato sauce to it, which makes it a little bit more thicker. So I'm gonna add some Goya tomato sauce after it cooks a little bit. Okay, Deon's gonna do the rice, so. I don't know how much rice you want, but I want a good portion. Yeah, but you don't eat a lot, you don't need For a lot. Every bite of every bite of meat, I need two bites, like two spoons of okay, rice. That's what I'm It saying. looks like a little bit, but it's still a lot, so you don't need to put that much. You can just do a little bit. Like you think that alone will feed you? A little bit. That would feed me. Oh, that. When, when it's cooked, it gets thick and, and there's a lot of it. Like I bet we're we're gonna waste rice. I just know. No. Yeah. We do every single time. There. That's fine. Okay. Now you're gonna wash the rice. Do this a good couple times so it's not so white. White. <laughs> yeah. The rice will be clean. Are we using a rice cooker, by the way? Fill it up until the rice is all the way covered, but not too, too much water, because then your rice is going to be real wet. Grab oil and salt. And you're going to the salt first, because you have to do a taste test. No, keep going. That's the with the rice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I know it's messy, but y'all have to taste our food before it's even cooking or any of that. To see if you need more salt or anything. You have to add oil to this, so I usually do the taste test after I do the salt. Basically, just taste the water. You think that's too salty? Not too salty. I so think it's, it's perfect. Cook into it. Yeah. And then that you just do like a quick. That's it. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Now we just close it and hit white rice. It ain't even hard. <laughs> just let that cook. All right, so after the beans have been cooking, we're gonna add our tomato sauce, about half a can of tomato sauce. Not the whole thing. It should look like this. I basically took over this video. After you add the tomato sauce, let it cook for like five to eight minutes more, and then the beans will be done. Actually, after you put the tomato sauce into the beans, you don't have to put the cap back on. Love is a losing game, so I just might be a we got this pan on medium. It says six to be exact, but we're gonna toss these in there. We're gonna go one at a time. I'm gonna cook this one for like two or three minutes on each side till you get it to the color and crisp you like it at, you feel me? Yeah, we 
I'm about to tear this shit up. My shit look plain, but mine look like a real Puerto Rican. Mine shit is simple, cause that's what I like. You feel me? I don't eat avocado. We gonna see y'all. Bye, y'all. I'm about to eat. Stay tuned for more bangers. Leave a white heart in the comments if you enjoyed the video. Smash that subscribe button. Love y'all. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked.